Hello, welcome back to my channel. Uh, this is the ninth video from the series uh, which is dedicated to uh, my, my last project which is uh, the tube stereo uh, uh, amplifier. We are, we are looking at the end of the project as you will see. In this video I will show you the progress on the digital to analog converter module and uh, also uh, progress uh, on the Arduino logic uh, and on the uh, user interface uh, as well. I hope you enjoyed the video uh, and uh, thank you very much. As one of the main uh, development uh, on my tube stereo amplifier project, uh, I designed and built uh, a, a digital to analog converter module, which uh, you can see here in this uh, position. This is uh, installed uh, already. This card uh, uh, is uh, uh, connected to the two uh, plugs, uh, one uh, optical and one uh, coaxial, uh, which uh, are located in the back panel. Uh, this is a relay. Uh, through uh, this relay, uh, the user can uh, select uh, uh, between, uh, again, coaxial and uh, optical uh, digital input. This relay is driven by Arduino. Uh, which is driven by a rotary encoder uh, and uh, also Arduino can show the relevant information on a, a LED display. So once uh, selected between the two types of uh, input, optical and coaxial, the digital stream goes to a, a digital receiver uh, which is a CS8414 integrated circuit. Then the signal, still digital signal, is fed into uh, the input of the proper uh, DAC chip, which is a, a TDA1543 integrated circuit. Then at the output of this integrated circuit I have my audio analog signal here which is then fed into the uh, input selection unit, which is located here. Then, after the digital to analog converter card you, ca you have seen uh, before, I deployed uh, this uh, additional card. This is an H-bridge, which is composed by two PNP transistors and two NPN transistors. The role of this card is to properly drive the motor, which you can see here, uh, which drives the uh, volume control potentiometer. So basically this card is driven by Arduino. If the user wants to uh, increase the volume, so uh, if the user wants to rotate uh, this shaft in uh, clockwise uh, direction, then Arduino sends logical level 1 to one of the two control pins. On the contrary, if the user wants to uh, decrease the volume, so the motor has to rotate anti-clockwise, then Arduino will send logical level 1 to the other control pin. What we have seen now through the uh, H-Bridge card is the first way to uh, increase or decrease the volume. Uh, this is through the uh, remote control. Uh, a second way is, of course, to act manually on the uh, volume control knob. In any case, uh, Arduino uh, tracks uh, real-time the position of the volume uh, control potentiometer. This is in order to take uh, uh, decision. Uh, for example, uh, uh, the user might uh, uh, turn uh, all the way up uh, the volume control, uh, for example, when the system is uh, switched uh, uh, off, uh, and then the user attempts uh, to switch the system uh, uh, back on. Uh, in this case, uh, this can uh, damage the uh, speakers, of course, because the volume control is all the way up. Well, in this case, uh, Arduino can uh, uh, sense the situation and uh, uh, automatically uh, bring down the volume control by acting on the uh, motor. Uh, this before Arduino could uh, uh, give green light to the user for uh, switching the system back on.
So uh, it has been a long journey, uh, but uh, as the amplifier is uh, uh, almost uh, completed, I would like to recap uh, a little bit uh, all the uh, previous uh, steps. Um, of course, uh, as, as I said, uh, the, the amplifier is not uh, completed now. Uh, as you see, uh, the front panel is uh, still to be uh, deployed, some uh, layout parts, uh, uh, to be a uh, little bit improved, but again, more or less, we are uh, approaching the end of the uh, project. So, uh, again, let's uh, quickly uh, recap uh, the uh, previous uh, steps. Uh, this is the uh, power supply part. Uh, these are the uh, cards uh, which uh, provide uh, all the uh, voltages to the different sections, also the polarization for the tubes, uh, uh, are uh, are uh, provided here. Uh, this is the uh, main uh, uh, smoothing choke uh, which uh, uh, levels the uh, high voltage for the uh, for the tubes. This is the central grounding point. Uh, as you might remember, I have deployed a very strict uh, star grounding scheme, which really is the major responsible, in my opinion, of the uh, very good uh, signal-to-noise ratio uh, performance uh, of this uh, amplifier. This amplifier is really dead quiet, uh, even when uh, uh, the volume knob is rotated to the maximum position. Speaking about the integrated uh, uh, sources within this uh, amplifier, we have uh, the uh, first one, which is the FM uh, tuner. Here we can see the uh, front end. This is the mixer, integrated circuit, and this is the uh, intermediate frequency uh, amplifier. You might see the uh, prescaler, uh, which uh, provides uh, the signal uh, for the uh, frequency reading. Still speaking about the FM tuner, here we have the audio uh, demodulator and here the uh, stereo decoder. The second integrated signal source is the uh, Bluetooth receiver module, which uh, you might not uh, see fully because it's a little bit hidden by, by the cables. Uh, it's uh, it's uh, here. The third uh, input source is the uh, digital to analog converter module the integrated one, which is uh, underneath here, as you saw uh, previously in this, uh, in this video. The choice of the audio signal source uh, to listen is uh, accomplished through uh, this card. Uh, you might see, uh, you might see the uh, four yellow relays uh, uh, here. Uh, this card uh, allows the user to uh, select uh, between uh, uh, FM tuner, as we said before, uh, Bluetooth receiver, digital to analog converter, and uh, uh, external analog uh, uh, auxiliary input. We have seen the uh, possible uh, signal uh, input sources. Uh, then uh, the selected input uh, is fed to the preamplifier section and then to the power amplifier. Preamplifier and pre uh, power amplifier are built uh, on uh, vacuum tubes. Uh, here you don't see because again is a little bit uh, hidden but here we have the preamplifier with the two uh, tone control knobs and the volume control. Preamplifier is based on two ECC83 tubes. Here we have uh, Arduino, Arduino Mega uh, with uh, a shield I, I built uh, in order to properly drive the two OLED uh, displays. Sorry, the amplifier is uh, still in uh, upside down position because I'm still working on it, but I would just like to recap what we find in the uh, back panel. So here we have the connections for the, for the speakers, uh, left and right. Uh, here we have the uh, RCA plugs for uh, the analog uh, auxiliary uh, input uh, we have spoken before. Here we have the digital connections, the uh, digital coaxial and the digital optical uh, uh, connections. Uh, this is the FM antenna, this is the uh, Bluetooth uh, antenna. Here you can see another view of the amplifier with the bottom cover fitted in and uh, of course you can see the two uh, cooling fans, uh, uh, they are spinning because currently the, the, the amplifier is uh, switched on. Uh, 
you can also see the four uh, legs, the four uh, feet in the final position. So I would say this part is almost uh, completed. As you can see, I painted in black the sides of the cooling fans in order not to be in order for them not to be uh, visible. Uh, of course, uh, this part uh, is not visible from, uh, from outside uh, as the amplifier will be in, uh, in a normal position. Now, now we are seeing uh, the, the uh, upside down position. So uh, as this part will not be visible, I didn't paint it, uh, so I left it in, the, in their normal color. I just want to show you that when the amplifier is in a standby position, the uh, cooling fans are not uh, spinning, uh, of course, <laughs> I would say. So, uh, standby mode means that only Arduino and the uh, remote control receiver uh, are switched on. Everything else is switched off. When I uh, click on the remote control or I press uh, uh, the, the, the encoder on the front panel. Uh, I move out from standby mode uh, and uh, I go to normal, I would say, operation mode. So everything is switching on, including, of course, the uh, cooling fans. You can see the amplifier in the normal upright uh, uh, position. Uh, as you might see, uh, I have deployed the uh, bottom cover you have seen uh, uh, before with the uh, four feet and the uh, cooling fans uh, as well in the bottom. Uh, as you can see, the amplifier is uh, almost uh, uh, completed. Of course, uh, uh, one of the most important parts of the front panel is uh, still missing. Uh, I'm uh, working on that, uh, so uh, more to follow soon on, on that. But other than that, uh, uh, I would say the electronics uh, is, is completed. Uh, I'm now working on the user interface and uh, I would like to show you now uh, how the, the amplifier can be utilized. Uh, as you can see, all the uh, logic is based on uh, uh, Arduino. Uh, and uh, uh, which drives uh, the uh, encoder, you can, see, you can see it here, and the two uh, OLED uh, displays. And also uh, Arduino, uh, as you have seen in the last videos, uh, handles all the, uh, all, you know, all the uh, analog and, and digital uh, signals all over the circuit. So, in order to show you how the user interface is, uh, let's start from the uh, amplifier completely switched off, so it's not even in uh, standby mode. In order to switch it on, uh, to bring it uh, to standby mode, uh, I can uh, use uh, this switch uh, on the uh, back panel. Now the amplifier is in uh, standby mode. What does it mean? Uh, it means that uh, uh, Arduino only is uh, powered on. Uh, in this moment, Arduino is temporarily powered on uh, through uh, an external input uh, because I need uh, this port in order to finalize the, uh, the programming. So now uh, the system is in standby mode. Again, uh, only Arduino and the uh, infrared uh, receiver uh, switch, switched on. So, in order to bring it to normal operation, I can act uh, on the uh, remote control, the, this one, uh, and uh, click like, like that, and as you can see, the system is uh, uh, going to normal operation mode. In this moment, uh, the uh, FM tuner is uh, uh, selected. The tubes uh, are warming, so let's wait a little bit. Let's maybe increase the volume and as you can see the radio begins to play. Here I can uh, increase the volume through the remote control, decrease the volume, switch to other inputs, so I can switch to mono FM tuner, auxiliary input, you remember the analog auxiliary inputs on the back of the amplifier, Bluetooth receiver. Let's see if I can 
let you hear some music through the uh, Bluetooth uh, uh, receiver. In this moment I have uh, the Bluetooth receiver connected to my mobile phone. Let's uh, increase the volume a little bit. And uh, as you can hear, music is playing through the Bluetooth uh, receiver module. This uh, Bluetooth receiver module is integrated into the amplifier, of course. Then again, I can, uh, again through the remote control, I can uh, change the input. This is the digital to analog converter, the coaxial input, digital to analog converter optical input. This is again uh, the Bluetooth receiver, but uh, with a nice tool uh, I use to keep uh, the power tubes uh, under control. You see the display on the right is showing the instantaneous uh, power uh, drawn by each one of the four power tubes. This is very handy uh, when, uh, when uh, uh, adjusting the, the polarization. And again to the FM tuner. So as you can see the remote control allows the user to change the uh, volume and to select uh, the uh, input. The same, uh, the same uh, features are available through the uh, encoder. So rotating this encoder I can uh, again select uh, the uh, inputs. In order to switch the system off uh, again I can use uh, the remote control and uh, clicking on the remote control uh, the system uh, goes back to, to standby. So again now we are again in standby mode.